Hull up. Schedule My Rent offers renters insurance, which helps keep you and your renters covered from unexpected property damage, lawsuits, and even medical costs. I will be walking you through how this service works. On the landlord dashboard, the box at the top right shows the status of your renter's insurance. Requiring renter's insurance is an optional service. Tenants can purchase renter's insurance through Schedule My Rent's partner or from another company. If a tenant purchases from another company, the tenant then uploads proof of the insurance so that you can review and approve it. In this example, you don't have any insurance policies that you need to review. The dashboard also shows how many policies are expiring within the next 30 days, the number of tenants that are required to have insurance, but don't yet, and the number of tenants with renter's insurance, which indicates you are all set. To set up renter's insurance, click on the setup link in the left menu bar, then click on the business link. In the business setup, you can check this box if you require renter's insurance from tenants. You also have the option of requiring all tenants on the lease to each have renter's insurance. Otherwise, only one tenant on the lease is required to have insurance. Finally, you are able to enter an effective date for requiring renter's insurance. If you leave this date blank, then the system will automatically contact all tenants and request that they obtain renter's insurance. As another example, if you enter a date of today, then only your new leases will require renter's insurance, and existing leases will not. This business level setup is the default setting for all leases that belong to this business. You can also override this setting within each lease if you want it to operate differently. If you require renter's insurance, I want to show you what the tenant sees. When a tenant logs into Schedule My Rent, they have an insurance tab at the top of the screen. The tenant can then see a statement that says, Your landlord requires you to have renter's insurance. The tenant then has two options. The first option, if the tenant doesn't have insurance yet, is to get a quote by clicking the Get Insurance button. The tenant then confirms this pre-filled form and clicks Next. The type of housing is then selected. The tenant is then shown a quote for renter's insurance, which includes payment options and the ability to add additional people. The second option, if the tenant already has insurance, is uploading the policy by clicking the Add Policy button. The tenant then needs to enter the insurer's name, policy number, and other details. Finally, the tenant needs to attach a copy of the insurance policy. Once the policy is entered, the tenant can edit an existing policy or add another one. Now let's go back to the landlord dashboard. After the tenant uploads an insurance policy, you then see that you have a policy that you need to review. You can then click on the renter's insurance link on the left menu bar. There is now a section called Policies Needing Review, where you can click on the Review button. You will then be able to see and review all of the information that the tenant entered about their renter's insurance. You are also able to click the view or download button to see the policy that the tenant uploaded. Next, select if the policy is accepted or rejected and add any notes that are needed. The screen now shows you a list of current policies. Now that you have reviewed and approved the policy, it shows that you have one tenant with an approved policy. And that's it. This video has shown you how to set up and review renter's insurance. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.